to Simplicity Sunday, and today we got the Broadmoor video coming to you live. Well, not really live. What am I saying? Anyways, today's Simplicity Sunday, guys. We're around the backyard. You know, I'm working on getting another video set up that should be coming soon. Sneak peek. Whew, only got three tractors out in the back so far, guys. But anyways, we're chilling around the backyard. Right now, just brought the bro dad's Broadmoor back here, the 64, you know. Uh, for all y'all simplicity guys watching, um, you know, I'm, me and my dad have seen on track groups on Facebook and stuff like that, that um, a lot of guys don't know what um, year their tractor is or what model it is. And um, if you guys are one of those people that are watching this video right now. Well, here's what I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna explain to you guys right now, real quick, while I'm letting my other Broadmoor charge up. Well, my Broadmoor, this is my dad's, what am I saying? Um, because my Broadmoor is ghost dead. Anyways, so, first of all, let's start with the rear end. You'll know your tractor is an older tractor from like, let's go with late 63 to, um, 67 68 somewhere around there or maybe 69 we start at the back well first most likely you'll have this counterweight as your rear weight you do not have wheel weights as you can see there's no holes besides your lug nuts and i know the triangles right here because the other people had the wheels flipped around but yeah there's no wheel there's no wheel weight holes in the hair so what you have is um I've, I know the name of the weight, but I can't think of the... Oh, stinger weight. You have the stinger weight. And what you have are these two donuts. These are called donuts. They go one and two. And I think sometimes you can fit three. I don't know. But, like, on this tractor, because these are the same size wheels, because these are... Ew, what is that bug? Anyways. See how these have that hole and that hole? Wheel weights. Oh, yeah, 16.5... Five and a half, what? Oh, no, they're not the same tires, size tires. Well, yeah, you get the guys get the point. For example, like they just said, holes. No holes. And the same with the front, no holes. But anyways, you have what's called the stinger weight. Two donuts, and that's your weight. Let me tell you, when this has got both weights, man, it's got to be 100 to 150 pounds. That's a fact. Don't tell me if... I, I might be wrong. Don't take that don't take that the right way. Or not don't take that the right Alright, anyways. Don't take me on that. I haven't weighed it yet, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. So now as we move on to more the middle of the tractor is the steering wheel and the dash. So let's drop the plow so it's out of our way. So if you're looking at this tractor. Say, let's say I don't know what tractor model it is or what year it is. Well, first of all, tell what model it is. It's off, it's small, so you know it's going to be a lawn tractor. So then, you walk around to the back. It says Broadmoor, so now you know it's a Broadmoor. So it's a Simplicity Broadmoor. Now, you don't know what year it is. First thing if to identify if you have a what year your Broadmoor is, number one, Look at the color of the dash. This, I know it's a 64 because 64s had black dashes. Number two, you can also look where the ID sticker is located. So, like on my Broadmoor, it's located right back here. On this one, my dad's, since it's a 64, it's located right here on the dash. Another way to know that you have a 64, six, late 63, early 65 Broadmoor is that it'll be chrome all like this we're on a 66 67 later 65 it's black with a chrome outline which I will show you guys on my Broadmoor and a spare dash that I have so let's move the camera on up oh what's this oh hi puppy Hi. 
Okay. So that's the neighbor behind me. But anyways, white steering wheel equals 64 Broadmoor. Yes. Black dash, white steering, black dash, white steering wheel, you get a 64 Broadmoor. Now, say you're buying a tractor. You know it's a Broadmoor, but you don't know what type of Broadmoor it is. Well, first, you can just go all the way over here. Oh, is that oil? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, you go all the way to the front of the tractor. Now, say you're coming up to the tractor. You, the guy stated it was a Broadmoor. You know what year it is and all that stuff. But, like, they oversprayed it. You don't know what model it is. They don't know what model it is. You can always tell what tractor it is for Broadmoors by the front grill. And you can see right here, this is the screen grill with the triangle hood and stuff like that. Now, the way you're going to know that it's not a late, late 63 to, let's go with 68. I believe 68 is the last year of this base of the Broadmoor. If it's, your model will be a 738 or a 728 and so on and so on. I don't know the other models as of this moment right now off the top of my head, but it'll be a white square in here. You know, I have a square hood and this triangle will not be here. I will um, try and find a picture and put it in the end of the video for you guys. But that's how you know if what Broadmoor you have. Now, you're buying a tractor with lights. You don't know if they're the correct lights. Somebody put the wrong lights on. You first go up to the lights after you look at the rest of the tractor or whatever you want to do. If your lights are like this, they're most likely original because this light bar that you guys can see right there, that's the original light bar. Not to this tractor, to another tractor. Well, it's an original light bar for a Broadmoor. Let's say that. Anyways, that's how you'll know. Now, if they're like um, brackets that go can you guys see that? Like this, up, like this, and then, like, it's kind of an, like a, eh, 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 like that. Those are the, and they're mounted right here on this triangle fr grill frame. Those are not the correct lights. If you want to know if you have the correct light bar and lights, this is what it looks like. You guys can see the light bar in there. That's what you want to look out for. And I know this is kind of a long video, but I'm telling you guys information. Now, to attachments. Really quick, this is just gonna be quick. For attachments, this is your standard 63 to 68, I think I said, Broadmoor snow blade mount. Well, as you guys can see there, if you'd like to see a better picture of how it mounts, there you go. But yeah, this is an Alice Chalmers Broadmoor one. That's pretty rare. I got lucky finding that one. Now we repainted it and stuff like that. Here's a seven, a, a simplicity blade. This is a really nice blade. Doesn't look in the best condition, but trust me, it's nice. Now, when you're looking for blades, let me set you guys down. All right, when you guys are looking for snow blades for your Broadmoor, Landlord, etc., simplicity tractors, always gotta look at these. These are called the puck slash sliders. Now, as you guys can see, I hope you can see because I can't see the camera screen, but this is a really good surface area of a slider. It's nice. It's not worn or anything like that. So you want to make sure your sliders are good. Next, you want to make sure your corners aren't really worn away. But I mean, that's fine. Just also make sure you can get the scraper blade off if you need a new scraper blade. So that's that. So that's how you identify a 64 Broadmoor. And now, attachments interchangeable for, I think, any Broadmoor. Besides really, really new Broadmoors. But yeah, interchangeable parts. You guys, you know, stuff like that. Now, what I'm going to do is, since I've pretty much gone over this, I am now going to go and put my phone on the charger because my phone needs to charge while I wait for my... Run more to charge up, so I'll see you guys so let's hurry up. Let's get this video done. So, 
there's dad's here's mine now I'm gonna get you guys at a good angle and you guys can tell the difference black dash white steering wheel white steering wheel white steering wheel black dash black steering wheel white dash see now as I was saying same stinger counterweight blah 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 he's got my other donut he has that donut trains repo seat and actually guys not to brag but you know I redid this seat anyways so as you guys can tell white, white dash no ID tag right there like I said earlier it's right here uh, like I said also earlier black chrome outline black steering wheel obviously etc um pretty much the same stuff as that besides steering wheel dash id placement you know all that stuff but almost everything else is the same now you guys can get a better look at the light bar see it's actually just a bar you know same grill and everything and like I was saying with the pucks on that blade earlier, yeah, yeah let's go to the side, you can see it better. But just standing here, you guys can already just, you guys can just see. Yeah, my pucks, they're gone. They are gone. You know, uh, we gotta swap the frame out still because this frame is actually broken. But it still works, you know. But, eh, 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 yeah. So. That is my Broadmoor. Also, another way to tell if you have a 64 or 65, look it, there's no sticker. We'll come over here, peoples. See, this is how I, this is what I know. If it's a seven one. So, my Broadmoor is a 67, and my uncle has a 68. His is a 717. Okay, his is a 717. Not a seven. Oh, seven. There's a difference, I think. Not really, though. I don't know why I said there's a difference. I don't really think there is. But, you know, I got the hubcaps, too. All that cool stuff. But, still got the pull star hole. Uh, the Broadmoor. Got the pull star hole. You know. All that stuff. Oh, another way. Forgot to mention this. See, on the 67, you got the T-bolts. For the hood, see how it's got the bar going through? Well, you pop over to the 64, bam, she's just a round one. She's just round. Round, T. Round, T. Yep, okay. So, I think that's pretty much sums it up for my Broadmoor, too, because everything's pretty much the same. But, you know, oh, by the way, lift column. Not supposed to be orange. That's just how it was painted when we put it on. Even though we did not paint that. It's supposed to be like this. Uh, like I said, everything else is the same. You know, mower decks, all that sort of stuff. So yeah. Thumbs up, guys. You know, I'll go into more detail because in other videos. But for now, that's pretty good. So, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you never miss a Simplicity Sunday or Wheel Horse Friday or Wheel Horse Wednesday or Ford Friday. Yes, the tractors are lined up like this for a video. I want to make it after this video. So yeah. Um, maybe I might not make it today. Maybe I'll make it tomorrow because as you guys can see, the sun's starting to go down and there's only certain parts where it's sunny. So I don't know yet, guys. But for now... Like I said, like, subscribe, notification bell, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!